Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the new Quaker Instant Oatmeal. This is peanut butter and honey flavor. And I tell you, the peanut butter flavor, uh, smell. the smell is very, very strong. Um, it is. Peanut butter smell. It says it's heart healthy, uh, let's see, 100% whole grains, good source of fiber, contains 3.5 grams total fat per serving, no high fructose corn syrup, no added preservatives or artificial sweeteners. One packet is 170 calories. And this was $1.67 at Safeway. Jason sent this to us from Maryland. So thank you very much uh, to Jason. So um, let's just try it. So peanut butter and honey. You so how know. did you, how did you make this? Um, just a half a cup of boiling water. Let it sit for 30, 60 seconds. Now this is runnier oats than I like. We always make things according to the directions. Yes. Yeah. And of course you can make it as runny or as thick yeah, as you, you prefer. It. Right. Well, I always get people that say, if you want it this way, of course, but we try to follow the, the directions. Yeah, if I'd want it thicker like I would eat it, I wouldn't have put as much water. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. I think it tastes like a no-bake peanut butter cookie. Yeah, the peanut butter's there. It's not super, super, super strong, but right. it's definitely there. Right. It's not as strong as in the no-bake uh, peanut butter cookies. Right. But but I mean that is what it tastes like. Yeah, I agree. It tastes Which like makes sense because that's oats and peanut butter. Oats and peanut butter. And yeah. Cocoa, maybe. And it, right. I don't get the honey. No, but I think that's just add a little sweetness to it, maybe. But. It's, it's good. Definitely worth trying out if you like peanut butter. Yeah, it's not as sweet as one of those cookies, of course, uh, because those are loaded with sugar. Uh, but it is. It is pretty sweet. It and is I, good. I mean, you could add a sugar packet to it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Um, I think I would enjoy it just like it is. Yeah. Um, it's probably not going to be as strong a peanut butter than if you had scooped a piece of a spoonful of peanut butter and stirred it in. I don't think it'll be that strong. Right. But I can tell you when I put the when I dump the package out. It was like powdered peanut butter, like your powdered peanut butter. Yes. That's what it looked like. So right. I, my guess is that's probably what it is. It's powdered, it's powdered peanut, peanut butter. I'm sure. So yeah. if you um, if you have just regular oats and you wanted to put powdered peanut butter in, you'd probably do that and dissolve it in there. Mm -hmm. That'd probably add a lot of flavor to it. If you, if and you think about that. how many different flavors there are of powdered peanut butter. Yeah, you can add a little chocolate peanut butter and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah, and the PB and Company makes uh, the vanilla that is absolutely mm -hmm. terrific. And I bet that would be great in oatmeal too. Yeah. So thank you very much to Jason. This is something I would have never noticed. We don't buy oatmeal all the time. So this isn't something that I would have ever noticed that it said new in the little bitty letters little up bitty. there. Yeah. yeah. So we really appreciate it though. I hope everyone else can find it. And thanks for watching.